Hi everybody, Robert here again with more River Training. In this exercise, we're going to look at how you do and create a room circulation point. Okay, now it's very easy, very simple, and this should be a pretty quick video. So what I have here, I have my furniture schedule open, and I have this file thanks to uh, Elise Moss, uh, 2018 Certification Exam Guide. Um, very good assignment here. So what happens here is you have your schedule open and you want to select this, uh, let's say, yes, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Let me see. So let's select this family or this, this chair in the schedule. And there here on the uh, our, our tabs, we can go and select highlight and model. So we selected and then we'll highlight and model and then it say click to show multiple times different views. We don't need to do that because we see it, so we'll just close that out. Okay, now the next thing we need to do here is uh, well, we need to open this family up. So what we'll do is we'll go to our file applications menu. And we'll go open family. see furniture here we'll go to seating and there's our core boot chair we'll select it and now we'll open this family the core boot chair family So now, once we're in this family, we should go to, let me see where we're going to be here. We should go to our um, our reference level. So let's go here and select our reference level. And there's our chair in the reference level. So now, from this point on, what we have to do is go into our properties dialog and select room circulation, which is here. And we'll take that, and as you see, you have a point placed right in the middle of the chair, and that's the circulation point. So now we'll select it, and as you can see, the little gizmo pops up that we're familiar with, and then we'll take the green arrow. Let's move this green arrow up to the back of this chair. Place it about there. Okay. Now, let's save this family. Let's do a file. Let's save as family. And you probably want to place this in your work folder. You probably don't want to mix it here. I'm going to put this on my desktop just for the, for the time being. And then we want to uh, rename this. We have the core blue chair, and we'll say right here, we'll say width, W, R, C, P, meaning uh, width circulation point, and we'll save it. Then what we need to do is load this into our project. Okay, any day now. It was kind of slow, sorry. Uh, okay, now we're slowing the entire project. I'm going to just escape out of this. It's in there. So we want to do a select our chair. And we'll just do a right click here. And we'll select all instance in view. And then over to our properties tab, that chair we created, there it is, it's there. And we'll say, we'll select it. And then all of the chairs will highlight. 
and then we'll window tile this and as you notice in our schedule there's all of the chairs we selected and the room circulation point is there uh, calculating where that chair is in our model so that's it for this one very short and simple uh, video but this is important this is how you do room circulation points so thanks for watching this video if you like it like it or you want to have comments or you need any instruction or any other parents you'd like to learn drop me a line thanks for watching and bye